good friggin' morning. Today we're gonna start up a little something different. This is Sea of Solitude. It's about a young girl who's traveling the world and suffers from such insatiable loneliness that it causes it to kind of manifest as, I'm assuming, these giant beasts. I think, anyway. As you can see, developed in 2019 by Joe May. Hopefully that's how you pronounce their name. I wouldn't even want to try the GMBH, because what the hell. Published by EA, and it's an adventure game, so let's go on an adventure. And that would be the character we play. Looks a little different. That's okay. Fifteen sensitive topics that players may find distressing related to mental and emotional wellness. It is not intended to serve as professional advice or guidance. Sea of Solitude is a personal project about loneliness inspired by real experiences and other real life stories. Kay's journey is about what it means to be human and to do live with all of life's up and downs. Catch all that? So if you uh, don't do well with that kind of situation, don't watch this. I'm still trying to piece it together, but I can't. I'm completely torn apart. I have family, I have friends, and yet here I am, feeling lonely again. What is wrong with me? So tired of it. So damn tired. There must be a way out of here. I want to change it. Change me! Okay, so this was literally released a year ago. We're gonna explore. Maybe learn something. It's so dark. A light. Maybe I'm not alone after all. They might need help. I should get closer. Alright, so I'm assuming that I'm going to be controlling this here boat. Alright. So there's that giant thing in the water. That's the thing. Horrifying. So I'm assuming, being that this is supposed to be a story about mental illness, would imply that this is all in her head. Feelings of loneliness and depression. Hey! Are you alright? Kay! You're here again! How do you know who I am? What a silly question. Here. I have a present for you. Be safe. seen the sun in. I don't remember. That's better. Are you ready, Kay? <gasps> All right. Wow. Visually, so far, this is amazing. How did she... Be imagining this. I know who you're looking for. What? Who do you mean? <laughs> Not telling. Probably looking for yourself. This flare belongs with you. Okay. Now you can use it too. Go on. Shoot it. Shoot it? Who's waiting for us? This girl is so strange. <laughs> it's so beautiful. At 
reminds me of Venice. Like that girl is like herself, but a more cheerful side, trying to brighten up her mood. Oh god. Hey, you worthless piece of shit. You have no idea what you're doing, do you? As usual. I'm trying. Oh, fuck. She knows my name. Did you do something to the girl? She is as fake as you are, so I ate her alive. <sighs> okay. I'm assuming I gotta use the flare to find the girl. I can feel it's going to get very heavy. It's so dark again. That monster said such terrible things. What the hell? Why? This has got to be a dream, right? trapped in there. It shines like the girl. Could she still be alive? Find more light. So I need to battle the monsters. Those handprints. Her. The girls. Maybe she's still alive. <laughs> ah! I knew you would come back. Come a little closer, so I can see you better. No thanks. No thanks. She's not dangerous. I'll look somewhere else. Huh. Also advised by letter, the street used to be quite beautiful, and now I highly recognize it. I wonder what happened. 39 bottles, holy crap.
Merle? Hello? Are you out there? So this monstrous form is her own self-image of herself, and the girl is supposed to be her attempts at, you Where know, just being this better. So oh my. I can't go over the monster dare. It'll try to kill me. I mean, I'm assuming I shouldn't swim for it. That'd be a horrible idea. I think we'll devour me. There's gotta be another option. Right? There's no way I have to swim for it, right? That's terrifying. That is super not cool. Okay, this guy doesn't look as big. Get to that buoy. She is not gonna let me near that buoy. I was looking for a girl, and instead, I found a boy. <laughs> Thank you. 
how do I get up there? I'm back at the buoy. There's a ladder up there, but I can't reach it. Oh, window. Where did all this water come from? And what happened to the people? Hello? It kind of gives me feels of like of Limbo. Remember Limbo? Huh. Who remembers Limbo? Limbo was great. Used to be way greener in here, a lot like our garden at home. Looks like the owner stopped coming here and That's so did the first ones I met here. There must be another light nearby. Maybe I can make her leave. Maybe. What's the seagull doing here? Huh. Shoot. Hmm. Don't do that. I need to get across this. It's okay if I keep riding. Everybody's gone. It's actually a little comforting to imagine someone else is out there. Huh. Huh, up there. Found it. I'll put all your corruption in my back. Stop saying I don't! Alright. Oh, they are dead. All you care about is yourself! That's why you will fail! Again! That monster doesn't know me at all! My, My boat! boat. That was oddly timed. So I just jump in the water and swim to it? Yup. I'm so glad to have you back. I sure I am, because that was terrifying. <sighs> yeah, so this was... Hello. This was developed by a German studio, so I'm assuming a lot of the uh, ink, like the stuff on the, on the buildings and such, like that right there, like I'm assuming that's German or Deutsch. And I can only imagine that I just fired the flares and keep following them, because they will lead me to the next objective. You can tell a lot of care really went to these environments. I 
disembark. I was going to say, is that one monster back? Of course it is. Oh, I don't like that one. I don't like that one at all. We have the whole premise of uh, exploring a world where really all the only thing that's, that could possibly kill me is timing. Very much like Limbo. Don't know where it went. I hear a seagull. Oh, there it is. Sandwiches. <gasps> oh, my. Wait, that monster, it seems familiar. Maybe it will help me get out of here, wherever here is. There's my boat. Like a bottle. Oh, I was kind of hoping I could jump that. How do I get to that bottle then? Also, it looks like that bird had light following it, you know? Light apparently burns. I need to get my boat through the gate somehow. See if I can get that bottle back there, but I'm scared. How do I get up to that bottle? Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. <gasps> oh, I did not expect that one to turn around that quick that time. There's a bottle here that I missed too. Huh. Hey, have you seen the flying girl? It's the third time I've got this far. She's meant to be helping me. Obviously, I'm the one writing the notes. As 
assuming it's a gap that I can't just jump. I don't know how to get up there. Definitely want that bottle though. Stop spinning. Oh, I hate those things. They make me feel sick. Hello. And what are you? You remind me of the girl. Oh, do you know her? She's like you, bright and glowing. Can you lead me to her, please? Do you remember this place? It was our favorite cafe. It's been years. Do you think they'll give me free cake like the first time we came here? Well, technically the first time you were here was nine months before you were born. Oh, well, yeah. <laughs> oh, sometimes I forget you're only 12. <laughs> Come on, let's walk a bit more before we head home. never really not good and well you know your little brother will be here soon and then everything will be even better i can't wait to be a big sister what will we call him how about sunny i love it oh is that what you are are you supposed to be big sister sunny chloe did you make me hear that Closer than I thought. Oh. You are horrible. to get in my way and I'd find what I'm looking for quicker. Okay, you are really far, so should be safe. So 
Like, I try to go when it can't see me, but apparently that don't matter. Stay back there. Quite a while, actually. I should have gone. That was the one. That was when I should have gone. You gonna head back that way? I think so. No, you're not. Okay, you're going back behind that building. Right? Yeah, okay. Go, go, go! Gotta go fast! Sonic speed, go! Wait up there, you firefly little dude, cause uh, this is difficult, terrifying, and I hate it. It's like, so as long as I'm not fully submersed, I'm safe. I can just kind of float on objects. What a weird premise. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, despite the uh, the title screen, I did not really think this would be such a horror game. I thought this was just gonna be kind of a, a journey of self-discovery and such. Shouldn't have gone, shouldn't have gone, shouldn't have gone. Was that gate too small? Can it not chase me through here? That's awesome. Huh. Trying to figure out how the city looked when it wasn't submerged and abandoned. Gives me a headache. I gotta, with, I gotta work with the fucking currents now. This is horrible. <sighs> Have I mentioned I don't like you? Okay, so I want to go when the bridge isn't submerged, because if I'm in the water, she can detect me. I think this is the one. Just gotta go for it. I made it. Why did Glory lead me here? This must That's... be where the flying monster is hiding. Maybe it will talk to me. Or kill me. Horribly. Need me. Ah! Hey, bird. Oh, I feel so sad. Chapter three: The Sound of Silence. 
Alright, well it's auto-saving, so I'm going to go ahead and call it good here for the first video. This game is not anywhere at all what I expected it to be, so... Holy shit. Oh, hey bird. I'm coming to get you next time. Don't you fucking forget it. 